got to take him out here. He's taking out a few of our friendlies. We're not going to stop firing until this guy's been dropped. He is on fire. We're in the smoke. Oh, he's burning like nothing else. He is definitely going down. Pilot's out. That one just made me an ace. Boom. Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to the next episode of What Could Have Happened Had Operation Unthinkable Been Needed. We're going to take to the skies here in our Spitfires in what is going to be one of the coolest episodes that I've been able to play of Operation Unthinkable to date because this is the first time I've been able to play this game in virtual reality. So everything you're going to be seeing from the cockpit uh, is from the VR perspective, which is amazing. Like This is hands down one of the best experiences I've ever had in gaming, period because I feel like I'm really flying a Spitfire in this one. So this is going to be pretty epic. Uh, you guys will definitely have to let me know in the comments section if you guys enjoyed it from uh, the perspective that uh, you kind of see me play here. But anyway, before we get too deep into the awesomeness of this, let's go ahead and get to the briefing so you guys can know what's going on across the battlefield and what's happening in this particular mission. So here are the battle lines as of the last episode. You'll see that the Western Allies have advanced a little bit more into Poland, and Germany has also secured more of their own country. France, of course, taking their part on the front here. Now, the Soviet forces are moving into uh, Western territory to be able to bomb as many forces as they can to try and slow the advance here. And so in this particular area is where we're seeing this particular mission take place. Now, a lot of the bombers are exiting the area after going ahead and doing a run on uh, the British forces here. And so we've been scrambled to basically go ahead and take out the bombers as they return. Now, a lot of the uh, Soviet fighters here that are escorting the bombers are going to be taking part in this engagement as well once we start to come up to the correct altitude and get close to within range of the bombers what we have noticed though is some of the escorts have broken off to counter us while uh, the rest of the escorts of course are sticking with these bombers so we basically got two groups that we have to be concerned about here so me and the rest of the squadron we kind of moving up to altitude again to try and take out any of the Soviet forces that we can. Bombers, of course, are the most critical part of who we're going to be engaging here because of the amount of damage that they can do to those on the ground. So here I am in the cockpit. I'm going to go ahead and give the orders to uh, my squadron here to begin the attack on the escorts that are moving in towards us. Now, we have been given word by the radar installations nearby that they are directly in front of us. We're gonna have to gain some altitude to try to see if we can get an idea of exactly how many that there are because I can see some through the clouds. But we're gonna have to move up through these same clouds to see exactly how many there are and what's going on. Now, this is hands down one of the coolest things that I have done in VR yet, just passing through the clouds and even something as seeing as the water droplets on the canopy is pretty epic. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really wish that I could do this video justice with what uh, I'm kind of experiencing and what I'm playing through this particular episode, but uh, it was awesome. Not going to lie. Okay, anyway, to the mission here. All right, so now that I've gone through the clouds here, looks like we've got a lot of Soviet forces around here. I've got somebody off to my right. I'm going to turn and try and engage. It looks like I've got some friendly forces coming off to the right. We've got a Soviet that's diving down. And see, this is where he gets the advantage. He gets a lot of speed. Oh, someone cut him right across me. Ooh, did I get some hits on him? Okay, we're going to have to duck back down through the clouds here to try and get him. I don't know if I want to do that. Because I'm going to be just chasing that one guy exactly where he is. Got to do a scan across the area here. See what's going on. You know, again, it's hard to see who's around here with the clouds. And already it feels like that this air battle is like stretched out across a pretty wide area. So this has gotten uh, to a pretty large area pretty quick. But I do see 
somewhat of a fur ball taking place over here. So let's go ahead and join in the fray and see what type of good we can do here. There's a Spitfire off to my right. Just flying out of here. Okay. Kind of go into the clouds here, see if we can duck up around somebody. Oh, is he being chased? We're going to have to come around here and see what we can find. Oh, I've got somebody right here in the class. I could barely make him out here. He does not look like he's friendly, though, which is why I'm engaging him. Try and get some shots on him. Oh, he's been hit. Come on, keep coming around like this. Oh, he is down for the count. He's lost one of his wings. I mean, come on. I've got to watch him crash. Uh, looks like Pilot's going to bail here. First kill of the day. Alright, let's get back into it here. Got somebody directly in front of me. Looks like we've got some fighting going on off to the right here too. I will admit, one of the things that VR definitely does give you an advantage with here is your situational awareness increases tremendously. Like, I can just look to my left, to my right, find out what's going on. I can get a good idea of what exactly is happening and then just return right to the front so I can have to adjust any view settings, controls, whatever. So I have a tremendous advantage over what I normally play here. Okay, I'm trying to chase this guy right in front of me here but I feel like he's definitely got the speed advantage over me. That's okay. We'll get into this fight eventually. Don't know exactly what's going on here, but it looks like we've got four aircraft up ahead. Kind of mark this guy who's coming around. Oh yeah, he's definitely Soviet. Perfect. Kind of move on him, see if we can follow him. He's, oh man. Still dude's got the speed advantage on me. I've got like full throttle going right here. Only hope that I have is that he's going to bank Get it to the left or, the, to, or to the right, and I can cut him off. Just kind of change my my direction, close the distance between me and him. Yeah, everything is very much spread out right here. There's going to be a lot of traveling from basically one dogfight to the other. Okay, I think I'm closing in on him a little bit. Oh, he's engaging a Spitfire that we've got right in front of me. So I got to try and save, save this friendly here. All right, take some shots. Come on, man. Got to protect my ally. Oh, another wing taken out. That dude's gonna crash. Oh, we did lose the Spitfire. All right, well, at least he's he's been avenged, and I don't see a parachute for that Spitfire, so definitely I've lost the pilot. Okay, let's try and move up here, see what we've got. Again, just a, a few fighters. Oh, this guy's coming right at me. Yep, he's Soviet. All right. I was a little worried here that I'm like, oh, man, am I shooting a Spitfire? Taking some hits. This is a fatal move that he made, just banking like this. And there we go. We've got him. Fall right down to the ground. Am I gonna be able to spot the explosion? Yes. We are tearing through him. All right, let's try and get back here. Now, it looks like things may have condensed a little bit as far as uh, the air battle that's taking place. Looking what's directly in front of me. Let's see most of the enemies and friendlies are. And I can't see anything to my left and to my right. I mean, they may be far enough away that I can't spot them. Anyway. Oh, here's another guy coming right at me. Yeah, this guy is not banking. Head to head, let's do it. Oh, he took some hits. Oh, and he's down too. 
Do not go head to head with me. All right. That's what, four? One more and I'm an ace. Okay, guy directly up front here. He's within range. And he is for sure Soviet. Oh, I didn't mean to fire right there. Okay, we are on the hunt. All right, let's get some hits on this guy. We've got to take him out here. He's taking out a few of our friendlies. We're not going to stop firing until this guy's been dropped. He is on fire. We're in the smoke. Oh, he's burning like nothing else. He is definitely going down. Pilot's out. That one just made me an ace. Boom. Time to take some more Soviets down. Let's come around here. Now, with as many of them as I've been able to single-handedly take out, we've got the numerical advantage for sure. So looking at what's directly up in front of me here, I wouldn't be surprised if most of these guys are Spitfires. We're going to have to try and head back up to the clouds here. At least increase altitude, which means we're going to lose speed once again. But I can imagine, though, that these guys have as well, knowing that they've had to just increase altitude too. I think this guy's yeah, coming my direction here. Uh, I basically... No, I'm not going to be able to hold this. I, oh. That was going to be a stall for sure. I actually was stalling there. Okay. We have to try and come around here to see if we can, if we can take him out. Or maybe some of the other guys that are around there too. Of course I'm flying through the clouds again. Why would I not experience that again? Okay, so Spitfires directly above me from the looks of it. Okay, so this guy though, he's the one who's been chased by what looks like friendly forces. Yeah. Oh, in the sun, it's hard to see him. Here comes a Spitfire to help out. Here, another one pretty close, too. All right, so we're all focused on this guy. Oh, there he is. Uh, have I gotten any hits on him? Maybe a few more shots here. This guy's been evading more rounds than some of his friends have. Definitely reason why he's the last one up. Oh, his propellers aren't spinning. I probably should have let him crash because he was gliding. I will call that one a victory. Victory loop there. Victory roll, I guess. Yeah, I was a little worried that with me trying to shoot him, some of the debris would have come back, hit my Spitfire. So, yeah, I should have let him crash. All right. So now that we've taken out those escorts, it's time for us to move on to the bomber force and some of their escorts that they have. Uh, so with what we have noticed, we're going to be seeing basically four bombers and four escorts uh, here as well. So again, another eight aircraft that we're going to have to try and take down. So the way that our forces are going to go ahead and try and do this is, of course, these escorts are going to again pull away to try and attack us as far from the bombers as possible so from the numbers that we have we have five aircraft that we can use in this engagement so the four escorts might just draw them away with part of our force while the rest of us go ahead and move on to the bombers so probably not ideal that we are splitting up the forces here but it's really the only way that we're going to be able to rush through here and try and take out all of the enemy aircraft so again they are at an altitude here where it's going to require us to climb quite a bit in fact we're at such a low altitude here that 
I wouldn't be surprised if even the bomber force will be able to outrun us by the time that we get up to uh, the speed that we need to be at. Well, these guys have got to be somewhere around here. I'm not seeing anybody through this opening in the clouds here. I'll try and come around here and see if I can get a good look on them. Yeah, I'm going to have to level out here because I am dangerously close here to stalling the engine. I thought I saw something in this direction. Oh, there we go. We've got some fighters off to our right. I did see something. Okay, so those Spitfires right here are going to go ahead and engage them. Let's keep moving here in this direction to see what we can find. I think I'm seeing the bombers just right up here too. Yep, you guys go. Maybe me and one other fighter will kind of move on to try and take out the bombers here. Okay, with the, the escorts going ahead and taking the bait, I should be able to move in unopposed against the bombers. Now, of course, the bombers are going to be armed themselves, and so that's going to be something that I'll kind of have to face here that I have not yet. We, of course, got turrets on the back part of them here, so as I move in... I'll just have to be aware that I can't linger basically in one spot for too long. I'm trying to see if I can engage some of these fighters at a at a good distance to where it'll be more difficult for them to like take me out here. But I mean, here's a good look at them. You can see in the back there's a gun turret sticking out, and then you've got one at the top here as well. Uh, so maybe if I can try and come in from the side and take them out. That would probably be the best, but of course it's going to be very hard to hit these guys and kind of move into a position that's perpendicular to the flight path that they're going ahead and taking. But up at this altitude, speed is going to be key here. So I've seen now these P2s kind of change direction a little bit here which has allowed me to kind of move in on him here so there are the bombers directly up ahead oh and they're already starting to fire at me let's try and return fire here see if we can take this guy down of course it's going to take far more rounds than what i've seen the fighters take to be able to bring these guys down Oh, that dude's crossing right in front of me. It looks like I got his left engine. This guy being so close, let's take him out. And, oh, his right engine's on fire. Looks like he might be dropping. I mean, honestly, I'm going to have to go ahead and just let him go. There's another friendly Spitfire that we've got here, so he might be able to take down that bomber here if... If I can't. Moving on, been able to hit this guy's engine too. Looks like he's losing altitude pretty fast. Again, get a move on to somebody else here in case he's crashing. At this altitude, I cannot afford to go down below the clouds with these guys, otherwise these the rest of these bombers might be able to get away. With the engines on fire the way that they have been and everything, I highly doubt they'd be able to make it back. These guys would have to crash land somewhere. Okay, this bomber right up ahead here is banking left to right. This will be a fatal move right here if I can get into a good position. I'll try to use the sun here to his advantage, but I can still make him out here. It's too hard to hit him from this this range. 
trying to go back into the sun here. Actually, it seems like he's just kind of moving left to right, really. Like he's trying to shake me off, but he is a bomber after all. That's not going to work out too well. Okay, I think he might be within range. And he hits. Yes. Yeah, this guy's rolling. Well, this guy is for sure still up. This guy's refusing to go down. They've even been firing my heavy guns at him, too. Oh, I've been hit. Coming up alongside him was not going to work. Yeah, I've taken a few shots. Try and circle around again and see if I can try for another run at this. Oh, my wings have got holes in it. I definitely up here with some damage. All right, come on. Right where I need you to be. Oh. Dang it, I gotta get away from this guy again. Oh, I think he's... He's going down. That looks like some debris. Oh yeah, he is... Gonna hit the ground. Oh, one parachute, that's it. Is there anybody else around here? I mean, it looks like Spitfires. Okay, so we've got to go back and try to see if we can take out these escorts. I wonder if any of the Spitfires that we left behind here have been able to survive. You can see I'm, I've got some smoke coming out of my engine. I definitely took some pretty big hits right there. Now, of course, being uh, damaged here, the other disadvantage that I'm going to be facing is everybody's going <laughs> to know where I am. I'm not going to be able to do anything tricky like try and hide up in the clouds or something like that. Because they'll just be able to see the trail of smoke. It's something I'm going to have to be conscious of here as we, we move back into the fight. I guess the smoke trail really isn't too bad when you take a look at it. Okay, so here we are. Been able to make it back to the escorts. This guy's coming right at me, too. That's twice now. Oh, taking some fire from this guy. He's moved behind me. And luckily, I've got... Oh, it looks like... Maybe the other Spitfires have kind of come with me. All right, this guy that's been right in front of me. Oh, yeah, there's... Maybe two or three Spitfires down there. Okay, this guy's banking right. Let's see if we can hit him perpendicular to his flight path. Oh, I don't know if I've gotten any hits on him yet. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, somebody's on fire here and going down. Let's see if we can make it one more. Come on. Aha! There we go. I think the skies are clear here. No more Soviet fighters. And I've come away here. Maybe even a double ace. I'll tell you what, this VR does like increase like your ability to fly like nothing else. This has been really, really awesome. So we're gonna have to head back to our airfield. We'll land, get repaired up, and then we'll be back in the skies here, not after too long. So thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. More of this to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe. If you want to see more of this Operation Unthinkable content, make sure that you like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Join our Discord. We've got a lot of great conversations on there on a wide variety of topics. And, of course, if you can donate to the Patreon, it goes to help out support this channel and this community. Thanks for watching. War is hell. You guys don't have to worry because Warfighters got your six.